Hi, my name is Peter, and today I'm going to show you how to implement Unity Ads in your mobile game. This one was requested under my last video, and if you have any questions or requests that you want to ask me, feel free to do so in the comment section below. Now, let's get started. The first thing you need to know if this is your first time implementing Unity Ads into your mobile game is that you have two different types of video ads at your disposal, interstitial or non-rewarded and rewarded. The ads of the first kind can be skipped, usually having the player being able to do so after only a few seconds and are triggered every once in a while after some in-game event has occurred. Rewarded ads, instead, cannot be skipped and are usually requested by the player in exchange for some kind of reward. First thing first, we're gonna create a new project. I'm using the Universal Render Pipeline, but you can use whichever template you desire. And as soon as it's done preparing, you're gonna go to the Package Manager, search for Ads and install the latest version. When it's done, you go to Window, General, Services. Doing so will make Unity ask you to select your current organization for the project. And after doing so, click on Ads and enable it. This will take a few seconds. After that, click on the Enable Test Mode toggle and make sure that under Advanced, the built-in ads extensions are enabled. Now all you want to do is press on the Go to Dashboard button and wait for the browser to open up. This will take you to your Unity Dashboard, the Operate tab. Just click on Projects and select the one you're working on. And now just on the left, click on Monetization and Placements. In this page you will find the game IDs that Unity Ads automatically assigns to your game on both the iOS and Android build. Note them down, because we will use them later. Let's now jump to the code. The first thing I did was create a new c -sharp script called Ad Manager, And I imported two new namespaces, UnityEngine.Advertisement, that is the one used by Unity Ads, and UnityEngine.UI, that I will use for the sake of this tutorial to show you some results of our application. Then I made our Ad Manager class that inherits from Mono Behavior also implement the iUnity Ads Listener interface, which is what is gonna make it communicate with the ad system. Then I added two public string fields, one for our iOS game ID and one for the Android game ID, that are the ones we found in the Unity dashboard and will be setting from the inspector. And I also added a public bool called test mode that we're gonna use to enable and disable the test mode when we are releasing our game. Then I added a private string field game ID, which will be set to the iOS or Android one in the start method, depending on what platform the player is using, and two private constant strings that are gonna store the IDs for our interstitial and rewarded video ads. And we're gonna use these to ask the system for either kind. Then I added a private tint and a public UI text reference for the sake of the tutorial to keep track of how many rewards have been given to the player. In the start method, we're firstly gonna pick the correct game IDs depending on what platform the player is using. After that, we're gonna initialize the advertisement for our game. We're doing so by passing the ad manager to the ad listener function and both the game ID and the test mode boolean to the initialize function. Now, we're gonna need an ionumerator coating that is gonna wait for an ad to be ready and then show it to the player. The string placement ID argument that we're passing to the function is just to tell the system what kind of ad we want to see. And we're gonna call this coroutine from the start coroutine method in both the show interstitial ad and show rewarded ad function, passing the respect placement ID. Now it's time to implement the functions defined in the iUnity Ads Listener interface. The first one and the only one we're gonna use is the onUnityAdsDidFinish function, which takes a string called placement ID and the show result, which is an enum as arguments. In this function, we're gonna evaluate if the placement ID of the ad that just finished playing is the rewarded one, and if so, we're gonna pass the show result through a switch statement. This is gonna make us able to reward a player only if the ad has successfully finished playing and is not being skipped. Lastly, we need to implement the remaining functions defined in the iUnity as listener interface, but we don't really need them, so you can leave them blank. In the editor, we're gonna switch the target platform of our project to either iOS or Android, depending on what platform or what device you'll be using for testing. And while Unity is busy, let me just prepare a better scene to show you our code in action. I prepared a small canvas 
with two buttons to request an interstitial or rewarded ad to the ad system. I also have a small text at the bottom to visualize how many rewards have been given to the player. I've set the iOS and Android game ID values to the ones on the Unity dashboard website. I also set the test mode to on and dragged my reward display text to the reference in the component. The last thing we need to do now is assign the show interstitial ad and show rewarded ad functions to the on-click events of our buttons. As you can see, I built the project on my phone and let's now see if it works. Okay, so let's try and press the interstitial ad button. You will notice that a test ad for Unity ads pops up and we have a small counter here in the corner and after a few seconds we can press the skip button and end the ad early. Let's close it and let's try a rewarded ad instead. The same test ad pops up, we have the same counter, but you will notice that no skip button ever pops up in the corner, so we're not able to skip this ad. When it's over, we can simply close it and notice that the rewards have increased by one. So we've been rewarded for watching the ad. Let's try it once again. Let's close it again. And you will notice that we've been rewarded one more time. That was it. You can download the code that I've shown you from the link in the description. If you enjoyed the tutorial, I would really appreciate if you consider subscribing to my channel and in case you decide to stick around, see you next time.